<laughs> Hello. Hello. Look how cute this shirt is. Everyone knows what an Arnold Palmer is, but I bet not everybody knows what a transfusion is. Transfusion is grape juice, vodka, lime. Or the lighting. Or lime juice. And ginger ale. Yep. Those are also the, pretty good. Yeah, the grape juice is the key to that one. You can't typically, maybe, I mean, maybe some bars will do it, but typically in golf courses they know really well. It's like a big golf thing because they're mm -hmm. refreshing. I might actually get one today. They're good. They're like a little bit sweet, but super fresh, the grape juice. Some people order it extra dark, which is extra grape juice. I saw that on that tip on TikTok. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I'm playing that, I might have a few of them. <laughs> might help. You got the Crocs on. He got these new Crocs. They're like the Lamborghinis, the Lambos of of Crocs. Yep, look at those. I mean, shout out to Crocs. They should tag them in this video. They really should give me. <laughs> they should send me at least one free pair. I feel like because I paid for at least like one full employee salary for a year. Yeah. Look, there's some. He has a lot of pairs. He was wearing his white ones yesterday. I have at least like six pairs. At least, I think. Yeah, you're at six or seven. Yeah. But I mean, it's... You rock them. Yeah. I mean, I'm not necessarily proud of it, but you like what you like, right? <laughs> All right. Morgan's headed out for the day. We love you. See you later. Yeah. Love you, too. Have fun. Okay. Be careful. Okay. All right, y'all. So, Morgan just left. I have some potatoes like diced potatoes that are just frozen in the air fryer i'm kind of testing that method to see if it works okay because i want to do some meal prep uh, which i might do today if i make it to the store i feel like i have grocery shopped a lot this week i spent a lot of money on groceries but it's just like random things that we've needed uh anyways we need tortillas because i want to meal prep some chorizo egg white and potato breakfast burritos excuse me, that will be like high protein. And I saw that idea on TikTok and I love, like if I go out for breakfast tacos, I'm getting chorizo, egg, and potato. It's so good. Um, for, for anyone that doesn't know, chorizo is like a Mexican sausage. Um, it's very crumbly. It's really soft. It comes out of like a tube usually. Sometimes you can get it ground though. Like it'll look like ground beef essentially. Um, but the brand that I always use comes in like a tube. It's really soft. You like fry it up. It's pretty greasy. So probably blot some grease out of it. But it just coats the potatoes, coats the eggs in the flavor. And it is delicious. And I think that we can make it locale high protein. And we love that. Um, and then I have breakfast like meal prepped, which I definitely need because lately I've been uh, skipping breakfast and then at lunch I'm starving. And then if I go out for lunch, I'm not making the choices I should be making because like I'm, I'm like a salad is not going to fill me up. I'm going to be starving. So then I order something kind of heavy and then I'm tired in the afternoon and then I've kind of blown a lot of calories for the day. Anyways, just kind of in a bad pattern and I know eating breakfast is really going to help. So I'm going to try to meal prep for that. Um... We also, I want to get some organization products, products, projects done um, over the next few weeks. So I have a list in my phone of like all the things I want to like declutter and organize. Um, we've done a lot this year. Like we cleaned out our closet. I still need to do like the top shelf of the closet, but we both cleaned out our clothes together and shoes and stuff and our dressers like two or three weeks ago. So that was really nice. Helped a lot. I really need to do our bathroom again because the last time I really deep cleaned and organized. I kept a bunch of stuff that I have not touched since. Literally, there's a video on that. I haven't touched it since that video. Obviously, I don't need those things. It's like a million things in nail polish. I don't even paint my own nails, so like we don't need that. Um, I'll keep like my two favorite toe colors and that's it. So the bathroom needs to be decluttered. Um, the guest room, I think I'm gonna work on today. It has accumulated, y'all, there's just stuff all over the floor. It's boxes and bags of just stuff, stuff left over from bridal showers, bachelorettes, birthday weekends, Christmas. There's literally stuff in there from Christmas. Like, it's insane. I even have some um, organization stuff. Oh, there's something in my eye. Okay. Um, some organization stuff that I asked for for Christmas, but I wanted to make videos using the organization stuff, and I just haven't had the energy to one organize and two film it because like 
doing something is one thing, but then having to film it, AKA like you're making the process a lot longer than it needs to be because you're trying to get the angles and stuff like that. It just sometimes is like intimidating or like feels exhausting. So I haven't done it, but I do have organization stuff that I want to use. So all of the stuff in there needs to be gone through, donated, trashed, or like found a home. And it's been a daunting project I've been avoiding for months. And I think today's the day that we're really gonna tackle it. Um, I need to do probably a donation drop off after I finish cleaning that room out because I already have some stuff in the back of my car that needs to be donated. Um, I need to check on those potatoes. But anyways, it's Saturday. We're chilling. We might go out today and get some errands. I need to pick up some tortillas for the meal prep if I end up making those today. Okay, so I laid the chorizo down on a paper towel. Just gonna kind of pat it to degrease. It's just a, it's a greasy sausage, it just is, but it's so flavorful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna kind of wipe off my little spatula as well. Um, but go ahead and put some eggs in. My potatoes are done. I did wipe the grease off of my pan as well. So I'm gonna do like two eggs. Maybe should have just done one egg, honestly. Um, and I'm gonna do some egg white as well. Just such a good scramble. You could do spinach or veggies in here. Probably should, but <laughs> I'm not doing that today. So we used these Mission Zero tortillas. They're 25 calories a piece. I forgot that I had bought these for my sister's bachelorette a couple of months ago and then um, we ended up just using I thought I was gonna return them because I ended up finding the Tarani ones um, and I just brought those instead but I'm gonna give these a go since I forgot to return them and they're still like good or whatever um, but these are just the skinny syrups I got them at home goods they were literally $6.99 like so cheap you can see they all have like zero calories or whatever um, and I'm gonna see if I like them for my coffees. That will definitely lower the calories. I'm just sometimes sensitive to the sugar-free taste. I don't know, I used to be able to do it and then something happened and I can't do it anymore. But we're gonna give these a go. So I'm gonna have a little iced coffee. And don't mind my nail, I literally broke it yesterday. Bummer. Um, so open this. I just brewed one of my Nespresso double espresso pods. I use the Scuro. The Scuro pod, it looks like this. S-C-U-R-O. Get them on Amazon. They're about a dollar a pod. Um, still cheaper than Starbucks. A lot cheaper than Starbucks. Um, and then let's get a... Okay, I'm just gonna do... This is a half teaspoon measure. I'm gonna start with one teaspoon and see where we're at. Go in with the espresso. Then I'm gonna go in with the almond milk unsweetened vanilla from Trader Joe's. It's 60 calories per cup. Okay, not bad honestly that's good so that's all we needed one teaspoon and that brings my uh my coffee down from probably like 100 calories to just pretty much 60 maybe we did a little over a cup of milk but like pretty low calorie overall and now only the calories are coming from the milk cool also i put these little gold like eye thingies i love these on the weekends hutch is over there walking over all my 
um, bags. I keep mine in the fridge and it's just like cooling. It feels so nice. Just kind of a fun thing to do. A little self-care moment. The coffee's good. I really like it. I'm not gonna lie, you can tell it's a little bit sugar-free because it's like a little less <clears throat> sweet, but I don't wanna add more and then <clears throat> not like it, you know? I need to do the dishes, but later. I just started working on the guest room. I have, okay, this is something about me that y'all do not know. I have like hoarding tendencies. I find it very hard to get rid of things because I'm like, what if I need it? What if, you know what I mean? Like there's scenarios where I might need this again, even if it's something inexpensive that I could just purchase a year from now, two years from now, if it ever comes up that I would need that item, like it's $10 or whatever. Um, and I'm going through our guest room. I'm about to be really real with y'all. Let me just show you what we're working with. Let me just show you. You're about to be shocked, I think, hopefully. Okay, so this, I pulled out like a couple of things, right? Going through, I have giveaway stuff, trash. In that bag, I put some, um, sorry, in that TJ Maxx bag that Hutch is laying next to, I put some clothes that I'm gonna try to take to Play-Doh's closet because I feel like they're in good shape. This is the guest room. Like, I'm not kidding when I say we're out of control. I have <laughs> floaties for my sister's bachelorette, organizing stuff that I got for Christmas that I haven't used yet. That box is like Morgan's, um, what do you, like yearbooks, I'm pretty sure. We have, let me get adjusted. This end table that I probably just need to sell or donate or something. My dad gave me like a jokester Easter basket and this was like our Easter baskets when we were ch like children, literally like my childhood, this was the Easter basket. So I have to keep this, like it's a memory, you know? Like I wanna give this to my kids and like look at all these little things. He's so funny. He like found all this old Easter stuff from when we were kids and gave it to me. Like so cute. I remember this one like is a little car and it moves, like how freaking cute. And then this little like thingy pops up and down. It's like so weird and cute. Anyways, so that, some Christmas stuff that was supposed to be given to my sister. My mom wanted to see if my sister wanted it and whenever I saw my sister, I forgot to give it to her and now it's in my house. This plant, which we mostly use for summer, I need to clean it up and find a home, that's fine. I have some, um, these are Sundays are for brunch bags. These were left over from my store. Just ones that I never sold. <clears throat> I might have a use for these. Maybe I could make these my um bridesmaids like will you be my bridesmaids bag that is a good idea look at me see this is why i don't get rid of stuff but it's a problem so we're gonna keep those um some emergency like i need to check the date on this just like rando vitamins like why is this here mailers couldn't tell ya. like i don't know what that stuff is that's a 25 dollar fan from target that didn't have all the pieces and i was too lazy to return it so it's trash um this is Literally curtains from my old apartment three years ago that I'm never going to use again. Why they're here, I couldn't tell you. Random gift wrap, an empty set of drawers, <laughs> blankets, a rug that I wanted to put down in here, but like on what floor, Lauren? In what world are we laying a rug? We're not. This is bedding from our king bed that I want to put on here because do y'all feel like queen bedding is not big enough for queen? Like it's just not. Technically this bed shouldn't have a box spring. You're supposed to just put the mattress on the slats, but it's too low in my opinion. So I like the box spring. So now we need bedding that drapes over the side of the bed so you can't tell. So that's what that king bedding is. It's going to go on the bed if I ever get this room cleaned. This is so embarrassing. Um, random, look at all this like Christmas. <laughs> this is Christmas wrapping I bought it was on sale because it was after Christmas. This is just for this year. Like I bought this last year for this year. How freaking cute is that though? Are you kidding? It says special delivery and it was $1.50. Like, yes, I, I did need it, in fact. <clears throat> and like this whole bag is just stuff I bought for this year's Christmas last December. Boxes, like the most random of items, okay? So and now y'all know my dirty secret of kind of being a hoarder. <laughs> I feel like it's funny y'all never knew about me. I have a really hard time letting go of stuff and I'm always trying to declutter and get rid of because there's always more to go through. It's crazy. I'm definitely getting better than I used to be. So I have like the drive of like, we're gonna buy a house in the next, hopefully in a year. 
Um, I know I've said that for two years straight, but like it's really happening this time. <laughs> we really are going to plan to buy a house. Um, and I don't want to carry all of this crap that I never touch, that I never use, that I just have some emotional attachment to, that for no reason. Like I'm never gonna use it. It's not doing me any good except for probably stressing us out because we have closets filled with stuff and rooms that you can't see the floor in. Like that is not normal, so. We're trying to get better little by little. I have like a list of areas in my home that I need to declutter and it's really only like six or seven bullets long. So once I get that done, we're really gonna have like a clean and organized home and I know that we can do it. So I'll take y'all along the journey via weekend vlogs and stuff like that, but hopefully we're gonna get that guest room cleaned out and I'll show you the end result. All right, y'all, we are loaded up. We've got tons of crap back here, and we're ready to rock. I've got my returns. We're gonna get some returns. Where y'all are gonna fall forward because my driveway is so steep. Um, Chance was all butthurt he wasn't coming because the last two weekends we have dropped him off at my parents' house, which he always has fun over there. Um, and he was all but hurt that he was not in fact coming with me to run these errands, but we're going to drop off some stuff, donate some stuff, return some stuff, and go to Target um, to grab, I need some all-purpose spray, I need some tortillas, I think I'm also gonna grab some biscuits and sausage patties, uh, maybe even spicy sausage if I can find it, <clears throat> to do a fun, I mean, I don't know why biscuits and why sausage biscuits is fun, but I thought it'd be good for breakfast tomorrow and me and Morgan could cook it together or I'll cook it for him. He just is such a biscuit guy and I know he's gonna like that idea. So, I think that's the plan. And we'll get to actually hang out on the couch, which we did this morning, but only for like an hour before he started getting ready to go golf. So um, we always like a good, slow morning together on the weekends. And I think that's really all I need. I might also, while I was cleaning out that guest room, a lot of this is from the guest room, believe it or not. It's insane, like so much stuff. They've just been sitting in there for no reason. So we're just off to run some errands. I brought a big old water and an iced coffee. So I have put this in the fridge for a little while. I had some lunch, just some of those squiggly noodles from Trader Joe's, um, and then got this out of this fridge. I'm just finishing it from earlier. And that's it, that's what we're doing today. I'm also wearing this cute like one shoulder top from Amazon, I can link it for you. It is not a crop top which I very much appreciate. It is full length to the hips. You can roll it under though, which is what I do, because I'm wearing like high-waisted Amazon shorts. I'll link those below as well. They're very comfortable. They're like a Lululemon dupe. Um, but I just roll under the shirt and kind of make it the length that I want it to be. Whereas I feel like everything else is a crop top. And while it might look cute while I'm standing up, when I sit down, those roll up, like the workout ones, roll up immediately and then I'm just exposed. <laughs> so, dang it, I went the wrong way. I'm not paying attention. It's okay, we can go the back way. Um, but yeah, I very much appreciate this is a full length workout top and it's so freaking cute. I'll link it for you below if you're interested. Um, yeah, I just needed a little motivation to keep going because I was getting so over it. And I thought, let me take a break, have some lunch, get ready for the day kind of. And sure enough, that's all I needed. And now I'm out running the errands I need to run. We're gonna get back, and tonight I'm making a sheet pan jambalaya. I've shown that on my channel once or twice. It's such a win. It's such a good recipe. Um, so I'll show you all a little bit of that. And that is really all she wrote for today. I'm gonna wash the bedding too. I had to throw in some towels, but once those are done, I'm going to wash the bedding on the guest bed. All that king stuff, and I think we'll try to get that guest made, the guest bed made before the end of today. So that will be such a win. That has seriously been like the number one project in our house that has been needing to get done literally since January. And I've just been avoiding it because it just seemed so stressful. But now it's pretty much done. Woohoo! 
Okay, let's do Target haul. Got a couple things that weren't on the list, but didn't go too crazy. Although I did spend $70 and like Target, why? It's not even Target, it's everywhere. Everything is so expensive. So I did get some light lemonade. I always get the Simply Light. It's 25 calories. It tastes really good. It doesn't taste light at all in my opinion. But then I also saw, so this is the Simply brand. But I also saw that Tropicana came out with a zero sugar. This is passion fruit lemonade and it's five calories for eight. Yeah, both eight fluid ounces, five calories, 25. So I'm interested to see how this one tastes. This one is passion fruit, but they had a punch and I think a regular lemonade as well that were all the zero sugar. So if you want to look at that, I found it at Target, obviously. Um, and I just thought we'd give it a go since we're doing no sodas this month. Um, I needed to get us some more toothpaste. So I always get like a three pack because I just feel like it's cheaper in the long run. Picked up two energy drinks, Kiwi Guava. I haven't tried either of these and Arctic White. So both Alani New, I love that energy drink brand. Um, the biscuits, just got the Grand's Southern Home Style. And then for the sausage biscuits, we needed some sausage. So I just got the Jimmy Dean Turkey. I um, also picked up another package of the Cajun and Dewey sausage. This is for tonight's dinner, but I only have one of these and I was just thinking, I like it extra sausagey, so I probably should grab another, so I did. And we're gonna have that tomorrow also as leftovers. Um, I did pick up an all-purpose spray. This is the Lemon Mrs. Myers, pretty typical. Um, and then I also picked up a Faye yogurt. This is the zero fat one. 80 calories, 16 grams of protein. This I'm gonna mix with some French onion soup mix that I have in a cabinet and, is it French onion soup mix? I don't know, it's gonna be dip. It's gonna be chips and dip, so good. Um, what else did we get? I got another thing of salsa. We always go through a lot of salsa, so I love the Julio's Hot. Um, so I grabbed that. I also picked up more of the Zero Tortillas. I love these, they're so good. 25 calories a piece, great for anything. Um, and then I picked up the Carb Counter. These are only 45 calories and they're about the same. I mean, they're pretty much the same size as the ones we used for our enchiladas, which were 70 calories. So I'm gonna use these for my breakfast burrito meal prep. I don't know if that will be in this video or the next video, but I'll show you. Also picked up the blackened chicken. This wasn't on the list, but we don't have any like easy frozen protein right now. So I decided to just grab this so that we have it on hand. Another thing that wasn't on the list is the Kodiak Power Cakes. I just got the um, buttermilk one. One serving is 220 calories and 15 grams of protein. We love breakfast for dinner, so we might make it for that, but also dessert. Sometimes you just cook up a little pancakes with the light syrup. Ooh, it's so good, it hits every time. And we've been out of pancake mix, so I grabbed that while I was there. And then the last thing I got was a restock on tortilla chips because we're doing salsa and queso for 4th of July. Um, I picked up Siete brand. These are just me and Morgan's favorite lately. They are more expensive, but they're like almost $5 a bag. But they're just delicious and I really like the ingredients. Um, Morgan prefers the lime. Personally, I'm a sea salt girl myself, so I just go original. Also, they have one now that's like dips. It's like for dip and it's, they're round. Really, really good, um, but Target didn't have them. I found the round dip ones at Sprouts. So I just got these two and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna put everything away. I think I'm gonna mix up the passion tea. Um, it's the Tazo iced passion tea, um, three fourths a cup. It's a concentrate three fourths a cup is 30 calories. So anyways, you mix this either with water or you can use sparkling water or lemonade or any beverage you want, but it's so good. So I'm going to mix up some of that and have a little, a little sipper for the afternoon. Um, and I think I'm going to get started on the dishes. Ooh, we have a mountain of dishes that need to be done. So I'm going to do that and then probably start chopping the veggies for dinner. So I'm super excited about that jambalaya meal tonight. I'll make that with you guys and I'll show you my progress on the guest room. I just did all of my donations and everything Ugh, feels so good. I've really gotten a lot done today. Morgan's gonna be so excited. And he's gonna help me tomorrow. We are gonna catch up on the laundry and I think tomorrow we might go like clean our cars together and stuff like that. But seriously, one of my favorite weekend things when we're not busy is Morgan goes to golf 
and I just like get random projects done. I'm such a homebody, like the weekend, I wanna get stuff done to make my week feel better and easier. And I just love it. I love it. Okay, we gotta put stuff away. So I'm just gonna do equal parts, I think. Oops. Of the passion and the simply lemonade. Oh, it's so freaking good. Okay, so I finally found a battery that was charged. I was getting nervous because my little battery charger, I have three batteries and actually I actually have four batteries and a battery charger that charges three at a time, it's not working. So that's unfortunate. Luckily, I have a full battery here. So hopefully we can finish out this video on that. About to get cooking the sheet pan jambalaya. I will link the recipe for you down below. We originally found it on Pinterest and we pretty much follow the directions mostly um but anyways three bell peppers I, she might do onions i'm not doing onion and then two packs of the idell's cajun andouille sausage any any andouille is fine this is actually the first time we've used this kind but we've got eight links of that i also have some shrimp you're gonna need some rice and some fire roasted diced tomatoes and some cajun seasoning other than that like that's it it's so easy. Chop and you bake and then you mix the rice with the tomatoes and you throw that on at the last minute and let it finish off. It's so good and so easy. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Gonna go in with our peppers and sausage. I think the original recipe does chicken, but honestly, I'm not messing with it. I'm not doing the raw chicken thing today. Sausage and shrimp is like my type of meal, so we're gonna go with that. All right. And we're gonna season this with some Cajun seasoning as well. I'm not gonna spray the sausage, but I am gonna just spray the tops of the vegetables and we're gonna use the Tony's um, original Creole seasoning. So good. This is very salty, so you really don't need to salt or pepper and you don't wanna go too overboard and I'm just gonna sprinkle the sausage as well. Gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. Okay, so I already have one of the jasmine rices in the microwave, but you just, whoops, sorry, I wasn't trying to zoom in. Uh, we're gonna do two of those, some fire roasted diced tomatoes. I was watching back the original video and I kept saying fire roasted 
red pepper or something like roasted red pepper but no it's diced tomatoes i don't know no one ever i don't think anyone mentioned it either um what is this called cajun seasoning some shrimp this is just a pound of jumbo red argentine shrimp peeled and deveined and no tail and then a little blackened seasoning so i'm gonna put the blackened seasoning on the shrimp um, and we're gonna mix the shrimp the rice and the tomatoes together Add a little occasion seasoning, dump it on the sheet pan, and we'll be good to go. Okay, game time decision. I am gonna add a little bit more rice. This is gonna make a ton. We've got leftovers for days, but that is totally fine. I can also take some out to my parents. Um, but I just feel like we need a little more rice to shrimp ratio. Okay, third one. Just go ahead and mix that in. All right, so the sausage and peppers just came out. I've never used this sausage and it definitely is pretty greasy compared to the one I usually use, so I don't know that I'll use it again, but it's gonna be really good flavor. Right now we just dump. This is such a good meal for a crowd too, because other than the chopping and then just mixing this stuff in a bowl, it's really a pretty hands off recipe like it's just easy it's not a lot of fuss it's very little cleanup um really i cannot recommend this enough so once you get that on there you're just gonna mix everything whoops together get those peppers in there we're gonna let this go seven to ten more minutes until our shrimp is nice and cooked and that's all it takes really such an easy delicious recipe all right y'all the jambalaya is done it is so freaking good we already tasted it we're about to divvy it up in our bowls and have some dinner Beast. How's this for you? You want a little more? Uh, sure. Yeah, that'll be nice. Good starting point. Mm. Mm -hmm. Warren's gonna add a little Tabasco. Oh, yeah. Yum! I love this meal. Okay, so I got a little bonus at work. We get like a yearly bonus and mine just went through. So I did place a pretty, not a large Amazon order. It was like, I mean, yeah, it was pretty large. Anyways, this is what arrived today. So I ordered um, another pack of my Nespresso's. This cost me like $34. I think there's 10 in each one. So you get, you know, 30 coffees for $34. Anyways, this is how it comes, the Nespresso Scuro. Um, this was same day delivery, love. I still have more things coming, some clothes and stuff that are gonna be coming over the next couple of weeks, but I got the um, Lux Unfiltered Self Tanning. This is the Santal, I don't know what that means, but it's like a gradual self tanner. My friend sent me the link, because she's been using it and loving it. I've been using the St. Tropez one a little bit, but um, I'm out and I needed to restock, so. We're gonna give this one a go and I'll let y'all know how it is. Um, so there's that. Also, I'm kind of doing, um, revamping my skincare. I've been needing to buy new products. I just haven't really put it in the budget, whatever, because skincare is expensive. So anyways, this is around the $30 mark. I saw a um, dermatologist talk about it on TikTok, of course, but it's the Lift Active Vitamin C Serum. So this I put on in the more I would put on in the morning. Really excited to start using that tomorrow. It says it visibly brightens your skin in 10 days. So this is the one she recommended. Found it on Amazon. They also sell it at Target. Then this is talked about by like everybody, but also dermatologists as well. Um, it's the Paula's Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant. 
um, I'm gonna use this at night. So super excited about that. Just kind of revamping the skincare, taking good care of my skin. And I have a couple more things coming tomorrow as well. Some new sunglasses um, and some curler things and like a little bonnet to sleep in for my hair because I saw um, another TikTok. I live my life off of the stuff I see people do on TikTok. Um, where a girl like used these like bendy rollers kind of um, and rolled her hair like one in the front, one in the back and then with like somehow used a sock, I don't really know, rolls up her hair, puts this uh, like sleep cap or bonnet on, sleeps in it and then when she takes it down in the morning, it is just like full body voluminous. It's not super curly, it's just like body and bouncy and I love it and I'm just like want my hair to do that. It probably won't. It'll. It will not work, I'm sure, but we're gonna give it a go. I'll let you guys know how it turns out. I think I'm gonna try it tomorrow night, as long as those two items arrive tomorrow, as they should, so I'll keep you posted. But yeah, I'll link all this below if you're um, interested in anything. Letting the dinner cool off before I put it in the fridge, but the banana bread, oh my goodness, it just came out. Let me move it to better lighting. Oh baby, gorgeous. I did use a toothpick um, just to make sure it's done in the middle and it is done looking phenomenal. I also entered the calories into my app. We're gonna split this into eight slices and it will be 200 calories per slice. So. Woohoo for a little dessert. I mean, how good is this gonna be with coffee in the morning? Are you kidding? Can't wait. <laughs> 